Hello there everybody and welcome to yet another Tuesday Teaching Tips with me, Sally Cathcart. Now today I'm just going to very quickly talk about my teaching last week and what worked and what didn't and what I've still got to find out, but that was too long to put in the title. So I'm going to talk about what didn't work actually first of all, because what didn't work, and th this I'm talking about online teaching obviously, was um, a day when I had a really bad internet signal. They kept dropping out. It really wasn't a good, clear um, signal between myself and my pupil. And she's quite a beginner. And we were just doing some work. I was introducing her to the concept of um, a crotchet rest. We weren't necessarily calling it a crotchet rest. Well, we were calling it a rest. But I wanted her to get the feel of it first before um, she I introduced her to the actual concept. And the way I would do this is through a song and the song I was doing was Old Mr Woodpecker sitting in a tree Old Mr Woodpecker tapping merrily That's the short version um, But what I was trying to do was I was tapping on my, my shoulders like this and the idea is that the student um, puts their hand up when they hear when the beat keeps going but the sound of the singing stops when I don't sing the word so it should be um, something like this off I go old Mr Woodpecker sitting in a tree there you see and the beat keeps going but the sound stops and this works very well certainly in person it works very well online it was a disaster because the latency the delay of the signal meant that I was completely out of sync for them um, so uh, I, I kind of abandoned that one. But what I did do instead, and I'm doing this ever such a lot, and I know lots and lots of you out there are also doing this. What I did was I actually filmed a sh very short video um, later on, I think the next day, and just talked to the camera like I'm doing now to you lot, to my iPad, I've recorded it, and then I sent that through to her. And obviously a lot of us are using online practice tools these days. so. The version I use is, is Cadenza, uh, the practice app. Um, but whatever you can to send it through, then, then do. So that was the one that didn't work um, because of the latency. Um, the second one is I'm waiting to see whether it's worked or not because oh, it was really exciting. I've taught legato pedal via videos. And now I've done this before, before lockdown, but actually I did get to teach the actual physical sense of pedaling in the lesson itself. And then I did a backup video for everybody so that they, uh, for the pupils, so they could go home, watch it again and, and work through it again. So today or last week, I just sent through the video and that was part of their homework was to watch me as I explain the different points. And actually what was really lovely is I was able to have multiple videos so they could watch the dampers and the hammers as well as my foot so i had a pedal cam which felt really good so i'll let you know about how successful that was and the third thing which did work i'm delighted to say was i was teaching legato yeah um, to a young pupil for the first time so he'd done lots of um, whole arm work he'd done lots of finger dropping um, and now he was needing to connect together his sound. So I use, I'm sure you do a lot, your arm piano a lot. So I will use an arm piano and that's really useful for demonstrating that sense of legato, that sense of connected, connected playing. Only with him, I actually, we were doing a piece called um, Tree Frog, which is in Piano Safari, which some of you might know. So I have my, my tree frog with his sticky feet and actually he made a really lovely surface on which to to show how to connect with that small little arm bounce leading us from one back to the other and he tried and it was still like that on the piano and um and then i we demonstrated again and he did it on his arm and then he took it onto the piano Yay, he got legato, which was just wonderful, wonderful. Let's see what happens this week, shall we? Um, so that's what, what, what didn't work, what hopefully has worked, 
and what did work in lessons and I'm sure you've all got lots of success and disaster stories as well I know every day is different at the moment isn't it and thank you to everybody who's watching I can see lots of people coming up I'm just going hello Keith Keith is out there Ruth hello and Melanie welcome weren't Melanie um, and Jane and Denise as well and Joe and Beverly and Joanna was straight on there as well so do share in the comments please if you've got a particular success story or something that you've been doing in your online lessons that has really worked um, and similarly you know something that has just not worked at all I've actually got I can't really show you I don't think I'm, I'm trying to work out this afternoon I'm going to be doing some metrical counting with some pupils for the first time so I've been thinking how do I bring that to life as well so I've got a, a table over there a tablecloth I've got some some of these plastic mugs let me show you I've got some plastic mugs like this I've got post-it notes on them with the numbers on and then I've got some rubbers underneath so we're gonna <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can make that work this afternoon for bringing a bit of metric counting to life because otherwise I get a bit bored sitting on my piano stool so thank you all so much for watching and hope you have a lovely afternoon wherever you are take care stay safe see you soon bye bye